What's up, people? One Nut Punch here. Take a look at the U11 beta for Blade and Sorcery. Wanted to try some more shit out since I know Blade and Sorcery was still doing, like, uh, more spells and hopefully some more things to do with the actual lobby system, which they've done right now. Instead of being inside the hut, you're actually in, like, an island. And one of the places that I found when going on the island was this weird cave that had a vault in it. Or it looks like a, a like an aesthetic vault. The things you can do now is you could levitate using the gravity power. So if you're jumping off a really big cliff and you want to like kind of float in the air, when you have them fully charged, you could put your hands towards the ground like you're about to fall and you'll levitate while using that sp like ability. But if you want to like I guess jump higher to get to a higher point, you slam down or like push down with the um the gravity power. Same thing with going on top of the rope here, the area is pretty damn big. I mean, it's not, like, huge like Valheim, but compared to when it was just the hut itself, you can pretty much go anywhere on this map. Um, except for the big-ass mountain that's to the left. I tried going through it, and there are some portions of the, the thing will, um... Like, you'll go through the rock and fall through the earth. Some other places aren't completely solid. I was able to go underwater on some areas, but not others, and yeah, I mean, the levitate skill is pretty fucking fun, and I do like using it in tandem with the gravity bubble. So this is pretty much the entire area that you can mess with, and they do have a couple other items that were added as well, like the zip line, the torch, you could actually spawn an apple. And then you could, of course, go in your inventory, and you could put on clothes now. So if you want to wear the gladiator stuff, or if you want to wear, like, a circlet, you could do that by going in there or looking at the mirror and equipping it that way. Here's what they also did. They merged the fire and lightning spells. This is the lightning, to where it basically turns into a giant cannon, and it just keeps going. Because I have infinite mana on, because I wanted to try all the different shit. And of course, I'm going to show you later in the arena what it looks like when you're hitting NPCs with it. This is the fire merger to where I was trying to figure out how to use it at first. I thought you had to push up with it like the other spells do. But no, it's more like a throw. Like if you throw up in the air or if you throw above your head, then it'll go. It's just like a giant ball. As you can see, I was trying really hard. And then once I figured out how to throw it, then boom. And it just explodes. Like, the area doesn't seem like it's that big, but when you get to a place that has a bunch of NPCs around, boy, do they fly everywhere. So, yeah, these are a couple of the new spells that were out. I Besides the void, the fire, and the lightning, maybe they might do something more, maybe add some more spells, maybe some more, like, mergers with fire, lightning, lightning, gravity. Who knows? But this is what we got right now. And... I'm liking the hell out of it, because the cannon itself might not seem like it's super powerful, but it's loud as fuck. So, keep that in mind when you're trying to play this, and you're like, oh man, that's a sweet-ass skill. All of a sudden, you have 100% volume, and then you're just deaf. You can't hear anything. This is also where the new map goes, so when you go down to the boat, then you can go ahead and get your place selected there. Wanted to show this off. They did a little bit of a thing to where you can grab their mouth. And if you kill them, they'll do like a silent death to where they'll start gurgling. Wanted to kind of show that off, which was, again, small but also weird. So here's what it does when you shoot the lightning cannon at these NPCs. They just flop around everywhere. If you actually hit them enough, they'll magnetize to the actual beam and like circle around like a tornado. It's pretty crazy when you do it. And that depends really on however long you're using the spell for. So if you have infinite mana and you're using it a bunch, sometimes it'll magnetize to it. And, you know, it'll be like a weird, weird like circle of people flying around. And then the same thing with the magma ball when you use it a bunch, slamming on the ground or slamming it near them. If you go into the um, Greenland area where it's just nothing but dungeon, watch out when you use that thing because it'll fuck up your FPS or it even will crash your uh, VR like it did me. I've seen a bunch of enemies coming at me, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to throw the magma ball right in the middle of nowhere. And uh, I threw it, and my FPS went from like 90 down to 10, and it finally came back after like five minutes. 
So, that's update 11. They added a lot more stuff than I thought. Besides the spells, the exterior, being able to go different places when you go into the lobby of, like, your home base. And even the fighting feels different. A lot of the physics, they blink now when they come to attack you. The AI is a little bit smarter doing combos. It's a lot of stuff going on. And if you do have Blade and Sorcery, give it a check out. They did show on their um, Steam page how to be able to get the beta. But anyway, if you liked the video, go ahead and give it a like. If not, thanks for watching my video. I've been One Nut Punch. And uh, I'll probably be doing more stuff for Blade and Sorcery. I might even do some more stuff for other VR games. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see y'all later. Thank you.